guys welcome to a day in my life i thought it'd be fun to do a whole vlog dedicated to just like what working in advertising is actually like kind of going more into what i do all day so yeah i'm so excited it's a thursday work from home day which i feel like is the most realistic day i could choose because most of the days i do work from home i feel like going into the office is super fun but i only go in like about once a week so i feel like that wouldn't be a super realistic day to choose for this video so it's a work from home day got my eye patches on did a hot yoga class this morning i typically try to do a workout in the morning especially when i'm working from home because it just gets me up and out and i took the shower today so my hair is gonna air dry throughout the day got some eye patches on that's the nice thing about working from home is that things are like very casual obviously i'm gonna take off the eye patches before my calls but you guys know what i mean yeah if you're new i'm lucia i'm 24 i obviously work in advertising and i live in chicago this is gonna be a really fun vlog i have a call so it's 9 a.m i'm about to log on to work i have a call at 9 30 and i typically go on like a coffee walk before the work day but i think i'm gonna go as like a little break also i don't want to go outside because it's like literally freezing it's like 32 degrees outside with my hair wet so i want it to dry a little bit before i go outside so i'll probably go on a call at some point in the mid-morning to go on my little coffee walk i just i love going to, out to get a coffee because it forces me to go on a walk especially in the winter and it's just so delicious so that's the plan for today i am gonna throw in some laundry though before i pull out my computer another perk of working from home but i'm actually going on a trip tomorrow i'm going to new york so doing a little bit of prepping for that throughout the day too Candle lit. Now it's time to officially log on to the work day. Got my water. And first what I do is just like go through my emails and plan my day. Went through my emails, kind of crafted a to-do list for the day, and now it's time to hop onto this call. finished my call i don't even think i told you guys what it was but it was a team status call we typically have those like once a week just to discuss like what's going on i feel like everyone every industry has that so that's not really advertising specific but just discussing all the different campaigns and accounts what we're working on go over just like updates um it's normally normally pretty chill and casual but also i feel like an important distinction i need to make in this video is the difference between advertising and marketing because I don't know if some of you guys are like in college and you're studying and you're thinking about like going into either of those fields. I kind of use them interchangeably sometimes because I used to do a lot of my vlogs and they were called like working and marketing. And then I got a new job in June and then I switched to talking about working and advertising. And really I've like always been working in advertising since post-grad i just like have been using these terms interchangeably but they are different i think just like for social media they're like you know kind of the same thing but they are definitely different so marketing kind of encompasses like everything about branding and like a company's marketing for example like their social media presence their paid advertisements their branding their pr 
kind of like all of that stuff is like intertwined within like their marketing department and advertising is specifically paid advertisements like think of like a billboard a instagram ad like just like a paid advertisement it could be like an ad on an influencer's platform or something like that a lot of different things could be ads but it's nothing that's like organic social media content or like branding or just like traditional marketing in that sense so advertising is specifically like ads i specifically work in digital advertising so i don't work on like billboards or anything like that i do digital ads so i do like social media ads ads on like websites and things like that so that's kind of what I'm working on and I work with food so it's all about like advertising food online essentially so just to give you guys kind of an idea of like what's going on here and also the difference between marketing and advertising so i do specifically work in advertising sometimes i'll say like marketing interchangeably just kind of like as a colloquial term but technically i work in advertising that's where i started postgrad a little i guess career background too so i graduated in june of 2021 i went to northwestern and i majored in film and i had a marketing minor or no, I had a marketing certificate and a business minor. And in June, like literally a week after graduation, I started a job in digital advertising, mainly focusing on like targeting, like audiences and stuff. And then about a year and a half after that, I stayed at the same company and I got promoted to working more on like measurement, which is basically like measuring the effectiveness of advertising campaigns. So that's like sales lift and incrementality. So like was the ad actually effective and how, like by what dollar amount, like how much money did it drive for the company like how many sales did they get that they wouldn't have gotten if they didn't advertise so just like measuring that for clients so i stayed in that role for a little bit and i had like a little bit more movement in the company but just laterally and then i got a brand new job that's kind of more of like an in-house environment as a campaign manager. So I've been in this role since June, and so I've been in it for about six months, which is insane. So I kind of am like more in the swing of things and like knowing what's going on and everything. And yeah, it's been super duper fun. Now in this role, I'm kind of delving into like just everything to do with like digital ads and just like managing a bunch of different campaigns, forming relationships with clients. Even though I'm in house, I still have clients. So it's kind of interesting like that because basically I work for a company where we host ads like on our site if that makes sense so yeah it's been a definitely interesting experience and I've learned so much over the past six months and technically my role is in advertising yeah I just thought it'd be helpful to like clear up that context and everything so I'm done with my team status call we have a client call at 10 30 just like looking at my schedule for the rest of the day then I have a 30 minute break that's probably when I'll go get my coffee I think and then I have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager so I have a manager who I check in with weekly to to just like talk about how work's going track my wins for the week any issues questions things like that that i have he's really helpful with like career development and stuff and then after that i have sort of like an all hands stand up meeting with the rest of the campaign managers and then i have a bit of a break and then in the afternoon i have a training to go to on like a special type of search advertisement like reporting feature and then i have a 30 minute break and then i have another all hands with like basically like a ton of people like people that aren't just in my position but like a bunch of other positions so yeah that is the agenda for the day and i'm gonna get back to it okay taking a little quick break to switch out the clothes Just hopped off of a client call. It's now already 11. Crazy how time flies. And I'm gonna go run and get a coffee. Back from my coffee walk, I went to La Colombe. Cheers. I'm switching to almond milk instead of oat milk. I don't think I updated you guys on this because I love the taste of oat milk. It's so creamy, but I feel like it's not the best for celiac because you're not really supposed to have oats, even if they say they're gluten free, because a lot of them just aren't. So I'm trying to see if that helps with my digestion. <laughs> not advertising related, but I have a one on one with my manager. I'm going to take a couple notes down before to talk about and then log on. Hi.
just hopped off my call and I have a few little follow-ups I need to do immediately, like action items. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those. sun is out it randomly is like 50 degrees and sunny right now which if you're watching this later for december in chicago that's like insanity and it was freezing this morning but i had a little bit of leftover bonza during that all hands meeting i just joined i like to like multitask like that and just turn my camera off to help me be like more efficient and effective throughout the work day and i've been catching up on a bunch of emails i've been sending out some recurring invites for our clients and just like miscellaneous things like that i had to solve a tech issue and the training that i was going to go to this afternoon was canceled so now update it's 2 p.m crazy how the time flies by i've been getting so much stuff done and i have a call at three so in an hour so that call is like another big sort of all hands thing so yeah i feel like it's super common to like multitask in calls but also still pay attention honestly like i'm so my mind is all over the place if i'm not multitasking i'll just like zone out but yeah i'm gonna get some more stuff done oh wait i completely forgot about my laundry so i'm gonna go move this dirty dish and take a little break get up out of my chair hang up my clothes that i need to dry because they need to be dry by tonight for me to pack them some of them so they might it might not end up working but anyway i need to go handle the clothes and then i'll like put this in the dishwasher and stuff and fill up my water little break Okay, done with that. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna get any comments about this, but I thought I would touch on like what I'm wearing and how I'm presenting myself. I probably should have just like put on a little bit of concealer for this video, but it's realistic. I normally don't wear makeup when I'm working from home. Like I just really let my hair air dry. There's like a little filter on Zoom that I use so that I look a little bit presentable, but unless I'm having like a really big call, I'm not gonna wear makeup. I definitely do when I'm going into the office just cause I'm in person, but I try to give my skin a little break when I'm working from home. So that's why we don't have makeup on and my hair is just like, doing its thing and with the industry that i'm in it really is not a big deal i know in other industries that might be a big deal but with advertising it tends to be pretty casual it's like very chill to just like wear a sweatshirt on calls and stuff people know that you're home and there's no reason to be dressed up so in case anyone was wondering about that all right i just had an all hands meeting which is basically where there's a bunch of speakers that give updates on like products and just announcements housekeeping that sort of thing and a lot more senior people speak at it so i don't really speak at that meeting i just kind of like listen take notes when needed and just follow along and see what all the updates are so we're done with that and now it's already four p.m so we have an hour left at work so let's get to it since i'm actually out of office tomorrow i'm just gonna start like wrapping things up and compiling a list of notes for who's gonna be providing my coverage so just wrapping up a few tickets double checking a few things but you really got a lot of stuff done today so don't have too much else to cover guys it's getting dark in here i really need to get a better ergonomic chair because my back is just not doing well today all right so i'm pretty much done with everything it's 4 47 and i'm gonna craft my out of office notes i love this like mood lighting we got going on so since advertising is like a pretty fast-paced industry and something can happen in a platform or like with the campaign 
just like that like something can go wrong pretty much out of your control whenever you're out of office it's like required that you get coverage which totally makes sense for someone to just like cover your accounts and campaigns while you're gone and usually like nothing too crazy comes up but just in case so you just have to send them like all the details of your campaigns and everything <laughs> It's officially so dark in here. <laughs> That's what happens in the winter. But we are all logged off, not just for the day, but for the week. It's been real, showing you guys kind of what I actually do in a day. Cause I feel like most of my vlogs are really focused more on like fun parts of the day. Cause that's the most fun to talk about. And definitely like working nine to five, it can get super routine, not monotonous. I feel like this job is definitely not monotonous cause things are always changing. There's always new product updates. It's such a new landscape and there's so many exciting developments in digital advertising. So really it's not monotonous, but it can just get like routine in terms of like meetings and stuff. And also there's only so much I can share. Like I don't even share what company I work for or anything like that. So there's only so much I can get into, but if you have any other questions about advertising, let me know in the comments. I am probably going to have a snack and then I'm going to go run and get dinner because I'm just hungry. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna go head out and pick up some acai bowls for dinner. I'm so excited. I also need to stop by Walgreens because my Sunday is sick and I need to get a couple things. We back. Time for a little unboxing. I'm getting tired. I think I might be just hungry. I got this like prevents cold thing that I saw on TikTok to take just because it doesn't taste sick and I don't want to get sick, especially before my trip. And then I got him some Gatorades and Vicks baby rub as requested. And for dinner, I picked us up some acai bowls. They are a little melted now, but one for me got almond butter, bananas, blueberries, strawberry, and chia seed. This stuff is so delicious from Deep Purple. Haven't had it in a minute. By a minute, I probably mean like a couple weeks. And then tomorrow morning, on my way to the airport, I got myself a little smoothie as a nice breakfast at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and start to eat. Oh my God, I didn't realize this was still recording. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, that was an amazing dinner. I just, I love a good acai bowl. I'm gonna try to go to bed super early tonight. Like by early, I mean like 9 p.m., which is pretty early. That would get me seven hours of sleep, which isn't that bad for waking up at 4 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go take these downstairs because our apartment building is collecting donations for Toys for Tots. And I got a couple of things. I got two cute like Polly Pocket things because I just like loved Polly Pocket when I was a kid, literally obsessed. Yeah, then after that, I really need to start packing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go take these down. This is your sign. If you're looking for something to donate to, Toys for Tots is like a great opportunity. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Okay guys, we are all packed. It's 9.20 and I need to do my skincare and get to bed. This was a fun day. I know this was a bit of a short vlog, but I hope it was helpful for you guys to see what working in advertising is actually like. So let me know if you have any questions down below and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Sunday and Wednesday. Yay, all right, love you guys, bye.